Welcome to the first live-streamed WHO FAQ. Here at the World Health Organization, we love transparency, openness and honesty. So we've decided to open up some direct interaction with our audience by publishing this very first live-streamed FAQ. So please send in your questions straight away and uh, we'll answer them as soon as we're able. Anyway, let's get to the first question. Why are the variants named using Greek letters? Hmm, good question. Here at the World Health Organization, it is our job to create new variants. Oh, sorry, let me rephrase that. Here at the World Health Organization, it is our job to create new variant names. We decided to go with the Greek alphabet instead of the English one, as most people in the world don't speak English, and we didn't want to be seen as favoring anybody. Aren't there less Greek speakers than English ones? Actually, Greek is spoken in over three countries. Greece, Cyprus and Albania. As you know, we started with the Alpha variant, Beta variant, Gamma variant and then our personal favourite, the Delta variant. That didn't really answer my question. We know. But let's be honest, using English variant names would just sound ridiculous, right? The H variant. Come on, that just sounds ridiculous. And how would you even pronounce it? Is it H or H? We just don't know, so we went with the Greek alphabet instead. The last variant was the Mu variant, right? Why did you skip to Omicron? Ah, that's simple. In the Greek alphabet, after Mu comes Nu. If we named the Nu variant the Nu variant, that just sounds silly, not to mention the fact that dyslexic people often read Nu variant as the UN variant. So we didn't want to we didn't want our parent organization being unfairly targeted for creating new variants. That's our job. So we skipped to Omicron instead. But what about she? Why did you not use the she variant? As you've obviously noticed, in the Greek alphabet, after new comes she. But after speaking with some Chinese speakers, she sounds too much like the English word she. We thought that might cause too much confusion and uh, unfairly target females. We didn't want people to think that the new variant only targets one gender. It actually targets all 58 genders officially recognized by the UN. Is that really why you didn't name it the she variant? Yes. As we said in the introduction, here at the World Health Organization, we love transparency, openness and honesty. We have no reason to lie. Is the Omicron variant more deadly? I think you've confused us for a different organization. We're the World Health Organization, not the World Disease Organization. We're not in control of how deadly these variants are, just their names. Why did YouTube get rid of dislikes? We're not quite sure why you're asking us that question, but we'll answer it anyway. Last year we noticed too many people disliking World Health Organization videos which inadvertently spreads dangerous misinformation. After surveying all Greek-speaking countries, we found that 98% of Greek speakers love the World Health Organization's Greek naming conventions. So we asked our partners at YouTube to permanently disable the dislike button. Couldn't that be described as censorship? No, not really. Do you honestly have that much power over YouTube? Yes. And that brings us to a close of this first live streamed WHO FAQ. Thank you for watching. Remember to leave us a like below, and if you do choose to click on the dislike button, it won't do a damn thing. You can click it all day long and nothing will happen. As we like to say at the World Health Organization, everyone likes WHO. And a final thank you to all our sponsors, well, our one and only sponsor, Chairman and President of the People's Republic of China, Xi Jinping. Without Xi, we would never have reached Omicron. That was a bit of a Chinese-Greek joke for you.